My Lightning Maroon Clowns are now on their third clutch of eggs, and I've finally gotten together pretty much everything I need to attempt to raise them. I did try with the second clutch, however, I didn't really have everything I needed, in particular enough live food for them, so it didn't go great. That being said, now I pretty much have almost everything I need, so hopefully this time will go a little bit better. They are on an 11 day cycle, so even if this clutch doesn't go well, there'll be more eggs soon. I picked up this Vossen larva trap, which works a lot better than scooping out the larva one at a time. Uh, the fry are attracted to light and they only hatch in complete darkness. So you clip on this little LED light, shut off all the flow, and the air pump sucks them into the trap. Uh, it worked out quite well and I could just leave it for 30 minutes instead of trying to hold a dimly lit flashlight and scoop them one at a time with Tupperware. Here you can actually see a couple of them getting sucked in. Unfortunately this was a smaller batch. I only caught about 50 which is a little bit interesting because the last time there was maybe two or three hundred. Uh, that being said the clownfish are new to laying eggs so there's bound to be some variance. Maybe I just didn't feed them enough in between or they're still getting the hang of it. I collected them in a five gallon bucket and took about three gallons of water from the parents tank. This was much easier than trying to exactly match the water since obviously the larvae are pretty fragile. Before adding them to their tank, I did tint the water with live phytoplankton. RG Complete is the one thing I haven't gotten a hold of yet, but I have been culturing live phyto for the past few weeks. You can see the water has been tinted green and I am running a 24 hour light cycle so that they can eat continuously and hopefully grow a little faster. I did put tape over the heater so that they are not attracted to the LED light on it. Other than the Seacam Ammonia Alert Badge, I'm trying out these Marine Pier Gems which will hopefully keep ammonia in check. I mentioned I had trouble sourcing rotifers. Once I actually got a culture going, uh, it's been great. Uh, you can see here with this cell phone macro lens, I was able to capture one of the babies hunting them. I've been feeding them three times a day and it seems to be working out so far. Despite the fact I don't have that many larvae, I haven't really lost very many either. I did mention I tried the second clutch and I didn't have enough food. I did however get one to make it through metamorphosis. So hopefully there'll be another update in another week or so. I've always wanted to try fish breeding but it's been something that I didn't really want to commit to. But once I got these lightning maroons laying eggs I figured now is the time to go all in. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.